Welcome back. Hope that you've all had a really good week. Uh, so a couple of things before I start. Um, today we're doing Why Are They Ignoring You? So this is for my ghosted followers um, or those that are just kind of, they've retreated or they're giving you a little bit here, a little bit there, blowing hot and cold. Um, so we're going into the inner workings of why that is happening. Um, but first of all, I need to let you know that this Saturday um, I am at Lottawa Football Ground sponsoring their biggest match in the FA Cup. So uh, if you want to come say hi, I will be at the Lotworth football ground um, also that there's going to be some TV cameras there because they're shooting a documentary that's coming out in November so there's going to be TV crews there's going to be me and there's going to be Lotworth doing their biggest match so if you're about or in the local area come and say hi I will be there with Poppy okay um, so that's the first thing the other thing that uh, happened this morning is this, this girl uh, this lady messaged me and said um, about the mutual energy and how it kind of works. She was like, can I, uh, can you let me know when you're doing it so that we can, um, I can get my energy into the decks. So let me just recap how this kind of works so you get an idea, okay? How I read and how I work is I work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, which you are aware about. So we go into all of your energies and we go into all of your people's energy. Now the reason why you don't have to be here live as I'm doing it at this moment in time is because psychics have no definition of past present or future to us it's all kind of we can do everything we can go into the past we can go into the present we can go into the future that's how we work so what happens when i go into the mutual energy is i go into your future's energy knowing which decks you guys are going to pick by showing you your future energy has already picked those decks and then we pull out the strongest mutual energy and that's why if something doesn't resonate it's possibly because you aren't part of the strongest mutual energy of everyone else or that it's going to come up later and that's how we work that's how we read how i read i always say we because it's me and my guides you'll get used to that and that's it basically so your energy you don't have to watch it live because your energy's already watched it basically multi-dimensional universe there we go okay so let's get on why and th and again that's why my guy just interrupted me then that's why it's really important that you watch the shuffling i know it's boring i know it's a little bit like oh hurry up ali um but it's really important okay so why are they ignoring me this is deck number one and this is deck number two so let's think about you and let's think about your person. You need to go from where your gut instinct is pulling you. So uh, two inches below your belly button, two inches above your belly button, uh, where that's pulling you. Uh, if you're clairvoyant, see what colors, kind of where there's gonna be some oranges and yellows, where those oranges and yellows are pulling you. Okay, number one, number two. And that's it. Let's go. So uh, those of you who don't know, I opened up a Facebook page after a year of being asked to open up a Facebook page. You can come and find me. I'll put all the details in the description. Right, let's go. Let's mutual energy of everyone watching. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. We've got a card from another deck. We best use that one. Don't even know where that deck is. Uh, okay, think about your person. I always find that when other cards card from other decks find their way into a deck that I'm using, that's because we need them. Oh, there's another one in here as well. I just saw you. I love that one as well. That's interesting. Three of ones on the lovers. Okay, think about your person. Let's get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of them and their person. And can we pull out the strongest mutual energy between them all? Why are they ignoring them? Why are they ignoring them? Why are there people ignoring them? Why are we being ghosted? Okay, three... Oh, there it is. Temperance, you know, it's the card. I love my tarot decks, but it's the one card that I just go, oh, it's always the, the not quite yet. Let's keep balance. Let's stay focused. <laughs> and when you, when you want to know why someone's ignoring you, when you get temperance, you're like, it's not yet. It's not coming yet. As your collective energy. Why are they ignoring them? 
I will get a collective timing for, for you. Uh, but remember, if you want your individual timings, to just drop me an email. I do half hour videos, 15 minute videos, and I do single questions over email for $11.11. .11. Why are they ignoring those watching? Why are the people watching being ignored? One, two, three. Do you want how many do you want? So the first thing that's kind of happening in my right ear is I am getting a song and I'm getting Chase and Status, Time. I think it's Chase and Status uh, with Delilah, Time. If you can find the time to give your love to me, just drop me a line and tell me where you'll be. Uh, and then it goes on that if, if you can't find the time, then cut me loose because you don't have the time, you don't have the patience. Go and have a listen, Chase and Status, Time. I love my drum and bass. If you don't like drum and bass, do apologise, but it came through really really clearly so what they're saying that's kind of your energy at the moment you're in this state of i'll wait for you but you need to hurry up because i'm really pissed off and fed up and this is becoming beyond a joke so what's happening with your person is at this current point in time they're kind of floating away from their problems they've decided that they needed to do some serious life sorting and um, so they've got in their little boat and they've decided to row away from everything and um, the reason for that is because they're gathering their strength trying to feel in a much stronger position and trying to balance everything out it feels with you guys what's happened is your person as a whole they started to get these very very deep intense emotions and, and part of this is because it is a spiritual connection so your person started to get really deep intense emotions towards you and because they're not very good at handling their emotions they feel a bit unbalanced with it they have retreated from the situation because they felt that they were getting too close another reason for that is because they didn't want to appear as vulnerable so they've retreated from the situation because they felt that they were getting too close and they didn't want to uh, come over as being vulnerable. Your person as a whole isn't very good with balancing their emotions. They're not very good at talking about their emotions. Uh, they're not very good with anything to do with their emotions and they tend to act on logic rather than emotions. So when they felt that they were coming really close to you and they started opening up, some of you they've opened up to you, um, they've backed away from it because they've been too frightened to let you in and this is where the fear card is coming in they know that you could have a happy future with them they know that you and uh, them could be together but this is also where the fear is coming in so the third party people that's going on here what's happened is your person has retreated from the situation to try and sit in their comfy slipper you know what i'm saying stiletto you wanting kurt geiger shoe on a beautiful shoe rack pink sparkly stiletto, comfy slipper where they are, stable, secure. So if you are third party, they've gone back to the comfy slipper because it's more stable and it's more secure. If you're not third party and you, there isn't someone else involved, they've kind of retreated into their said man cave. Remember, it's never sexually orientated or gender specific, but we work with um, the energies of masculine and feminine. So you could, uh, you could be um, homosexual and two ladies and there's still gonna be a masculine and feminine energy vice versa for, for all kind of situations um, which is why it's never sexually orientated gender specific but there's still a masculine and feminine energy so your person has retreated into said man cave to process what is going on um, when they're in the man cave your person isn't very good at communicating with you so they go into hermit mode and anyone and it's not just you they go into this hermit mode you try to communicate with them and it's like you're hitting your head against a brick wall because nothing is being said to you they're just kind of blanking you now what they could do what ideally they would say is i will be back later but they don't they just kind of ignore it and the reason why they ignore it is because they're also keeping the door open for you so if they said to you oh well this is going on and my head is everywhere and i've got all this and i'm feeling really burdened by it all um you're gonna say okay what why you know what's going on and first they would have to explain to you what they're feeling and again remember that makes them feel vulnerable and secondly um it would yeah yeah firstly it would make them feel vulnerable um and secondly, they, they just can't communicate while they're in this in this box. They don't want to. It's just not who they are. And um, they're not very good at it. They've kept the door open. They haven't told you any of this so that they can come back to you at any point in time. They can just drop you a message to see how you are. So this is why they're kind of ignoring you at the moment. Fears, fears of being vulnerable, fears, fears of feeling a little bit stressed out from the situation. 
going away into the man cave, think it all through, uh, work out what they're doing, where they're going, floating away from all their problems, um, keeping their door open to you, and then they will come back towards you. There's also an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one stepping in here. So whatever you guys have been doing, there's definitely a need to break the chain, or as the Khaleesi would say, break the wheel. Um, <laughs> so there's a need to break the wheel in this. Um, the cycle's kind of been going round and round and round a little bit for a lot of you. Um, you've been feeling like you're stuck in a catch-22, that this situation has been happening a lot. And it's time that this, this situation um, doesn't happen again. So we need to kind of talk through um, breaking that cycle, breaking the chain. Um, now, all of that is going to be very individual, depending on your circumstances. So if you want me, just drop me an email and we can look at that. As a whole, what you could do... Um, is kind of gauge their energy that they're putting onto you. So when they communicate with you and they open up, let them take the lead on the situation. So they'll be like, hey, what's up? And you can be like, hey, what's up? Um, if they start talking to you about emotions, then you can reciprocate it. If they don't talk to you about emotions, try not to push them because you'll push them back into a corner and you'll get them back on their boat and they'll start floating away. So whatever energy they kind of throw on you, let them take the lead with it, follow, echo the energy back okay um, there's also spirit saying with regard to the echoing there's also an element of mirroring here so you're thinking let's do you you're always on this side so you're thinking um they're never going to speak to me again what have i done wrong and they're thinking if i speak to you too soon um it's not gonna i'm not gonna be able to communicate with you where it's where i feel like it's going wrong you know, that's kind of their energy. They're, they're, you're thinking, would you hurry up and get in contact? They're thinking, if I get in contact too soon, it's not, I'm going to end up pushing you away because I'm not ready. You're thinking, you're just a bit of an idiot. Would you just hurry, up, hurry the F up? And they're thinking, don't push me. I need time to work this out. And then I can come back to you full steam ahead. And it's that kind of echoing energy. You know, people say mirroring. It's like, oh, it's the same thoughts. It's not. It's not the same thoughts. There's a lot of things going on. Spirit so also saying that it's important that your actions marry up with your words with regard to your person. So if you are saying to your person, I'm going to give you space, I'm going to give you time, but you're texting them 20, 30 times a day, your actions are not meeting your words. And that is another reason why your people will be pushing you away. So just be prepared for that. Just kind of watch your actions, watch their actions and let them take the lead on it to move it in the right direction. So from there, from this kind of we're floating away, roughly in about two to three months for the majority of you, again, individual timings we can do in individual readings, but your collective timing, this is when your person is coming back to you with an offering. Now we've got the King of Cups, which would say, I don't work with astrology and star signs, um, main zodiacs, because I find it very, very generic. I believe in astrology and the astrological charts, but zodiacs, it's very airy fairy you need the deeper inner your planet was here and this planet was aligned and this one was in retrograde you need all of that so um if you want to work with the astrology of it that's fine you've got water signs popping up um but for me it, it doesn't it works on your mutual energy so um they will come towards you with some kind of offering they the cards are kind of suggesting that it's going to be a more heart-based offering but your person is gonna do it again with their actions, not their words. So when they do get back in touch with you, which they will, when they do get back in touch with you and they stop ghosting you, pay attention to their actions and not their words. Anyone can tell you that they love you, but they, your people have got to prove it to you, okay? Um, and because they're crap at talking about their emotions anyway, by paying attention to their actions, you'll be able to gauge more of what is actually going on in the situation. So an offering is going to be made, a heart-based offering is going to be made to you. Um, and this is where you've got a more stable new beginning stepping in. But you guys will have to stay in your power. So you need to stay in your queen of swords energy. You need to stay in your bitch energy. You need to stay in your power energy. If you step over into this kind of queen of cups energy, into the emotional energy, what will happen is the same situation is going to start cycling around. And like the Khaleesi said, we need to break the wheel. So you need to break the wheel on it by standing in your power. So the time that you guys are not in contact, try to keep your vibration as high as possible. I bang on about manifesting. Um, it only takes 17 seconds for your thought to manifest. If you want your manifesting plan doing for your individual situations, give me a shout so we can get it all moving in the right direction. Um, but as a whole, Keep yourself distracted from this lower frequency. Um, you know, act as if your person has already messaged you. 
go into that energy. Something that you could do um, is, this is a bit sneaky, this is off Eric Ho, I got this from Eric Ho, he's really, really good. If you haven't gone and checked him out, go check him out, E-R-I-C space H-O. Um, he talks about, you could save your friend's number in your book, in your phone, under their name, and get your friend to text you something as if they've already done it. Okay, um, so that's kind of building that energy up. It's getting as if they're acting, um, it's acting as if they're already in your life. Uh, so what you can do is save your friend's number um, as your person's name in the phone book. Say to your friend, oh, can you text me this? And watch it, uh, and when that comes through, what you want them to say. And then it's acting as if they're already in your life. If you focus on luck, you will create more luck. So if you need a manifesting plan, they in, give me a shout. Standing in your power will bring this, break this cycle. Your person's withdrawing because they're a bit of a, a um, bit messed up at the moment. They're just floating away from the problems, trying to weigh it all up and balance it out. Now the other two cards that you got from this other deck, which shouldn't really be in this one, are the lovers and the three of wands. There is action coming back towards you, um, but standing your power to break the cycle. And that will, will bring you and them a new beginning, a more stable new beginning rather than repeating it. The, the devil card is often seen as the dark side of the lovers, you know, there's fear, there's stress, there's all these kind of, this is not just you, it, it's you and them, you know, both of you have got this chain to the negative side of, of the love with regard to your person, you know, you worry about it, you, you get anxiety, you get really sad, all of that kind of energy comes through and all we need to do is kind of tip this upside down and you're going to break the chains and everything's going to flow in the right direction, again, breaking the wheel, breaking the chains, release these fears, let it go, do release meditations and it will shift in your favour. And that is deck number one. Okay, so if you want me, uh, email is mrlovetarot at gmail.com, website is mrlovetarot.com, Facebook and Instagram is just mrlovetarot. I'll put it all in the description so you can find me. Okay, let's do deck number two. What am I on? 1641. Okay, can you get me into the collective energy of deck number two? So at the start, if you've just skipped through to deck number two, if you go back to the beginning of the video, I'll tell you how uh, this stronger mutual energy works on readings. I've also just said that I'm sponsoring Lottleworth Football Club uh, for their biggest match in the FA Cup on Saturday. And um, there's also going to be some TV cameras uh, there for a documentary that's being sh released in November in the UK um, but if you're around that area come and say hi because I will be there with my puppy dog okay think about your person let's get into your person's mutual energy okay and can we pull out the strongest mutual energy between everyone that is involved Okay, Spirit just said really, really clearly, take a step back and watch it unfill. Stop trying to push it before it's ready. <laughs> I was, I was thinking, I started hearing a song and then that, my guy just stepped in and said that. Why are they ignoring them? I've also got Ron DMC, it's like that and that's the way it is. Um, the reason why they're saying that is because again, um, at this moment in time, you're feeling like um, something has to, you know, you're trying to control it, you're feeling like something has to move, something has to shift, and instead of focusing on where you are at this moment in time, you're focusing on the future or you're focusing on the past, bring it back into the present moment. The Dalai Lama said if you focus on the past, you've got depression, if you focus on the future, you have anxiety, you need to focus on the moment, and that's why you're getting run DMC, it's like that, that's the way it is focus on where you are at this moment rather than living in the past or future because you're just um you'll just manifest negativity coming kind of towards you if you've got that anxiety or that depression why are there people ignoring them why are there people ignoring them why are they being ghosted oh here we go here comes the posting why are they being ignored? One, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a mix up in this deck. Some of you guys have had kind of arguments with your people. Some of you guys haven't, but your person's just kind of cut you, uh, cut you out. Um, 
So for the guys that have argued, there's kind of been a little bit of a passionate, here we go, the passion coming in again, a bit of a passionate tension between you both, a bit of sexual frustration, a bit of chemistry that's kind of got misaligned. Um, and with a difference in opinions and a difference of viewpoints, this is why you've kind of had an explosion. For those of you that haven't had an explosion and your person has just thrown ghost, they have turned into their little scaredy cat pants and gone, oh my God, I'm really confused by all this. I need to make some choices and I really don't know what I'm meant to be doing about it. So you guys are split into two parts as to why you are where you are. So first part is those of you that have this kind of conflicting energy, this passionate energy. I love this card. The unicorn is attacking the lion. And then the other side of it is you've got the fear based energy, the feeling chained um, and the panic of seeing these ghosts kind of in the night. Your people as a whole are going through some quite dark nights as a soul. So merging your energies together of where you are at this moment in time. Your people are going through some dark nights of the soul. A lot of stuff that is coming up from their past that they thought, oh, I'll never have to deal with that again. Um, is being brought into their energy by the higher dimensions so that they have got to face, face it. Um, and the reason why they've got to face it is because they can then be more spiritually awakened, be more aligned, be more aware of what is going on and make moves in the right direction to kind of help the planet or the universe. Now your people are a little bit reluctant to deal with these dark nights of the soul. So you guys have kind of embraced it, You've, you majority of you have been through yours and you're kind of coming out the other end feeling more in line, feeling better, you know. Um, some people, I love this analogy that people think spiritual awakening is like the sun card in a tarot deck. Oh it's beautiful, it's amazing. Spiritual awakening is like the tower, everything falls apart and it has to be rebuilt. So you've kind of come out of your towers of spiritual awakening, you've met your people, you know what's going on, you're aligned. Now your people are a little bit behind you, they're kind of three steps backwards from where you are. So they're going through these dark nights of the soul at the moment and they need to, they, they've got to embrace them rather than hide from them. And at the moment, they're not quite doing that. So we've got two sides of this, is that we've got arguments happening and we've got fears. And with both sides of this, there is this dark nights of the soul. Your people are going through quite a dark period and um, leading to a lot of confusion. They're not sure what they're doing. It's almost like they're leaving the house without tying their shoelaces because they are forgetting. They are stuck in this vibration. They are stuck in quite a negative frequency. What you can do to help this is instead of sending your person energy, so when people say oh send them love send them light what you're kind of doing while they're ghosting you is you're pressurizing them on an energy level so the earthly body is saying no I'm leaving you I don't you know I don't want to talk to you at this moment in time by sending them love and sending them energy you're kind of pushing it on them that they need to be in contact with you and they need to be messaging you and you're pushing them into a bit of a corner and it's made, it will make them feel a bit suffocated. So the best thing you can do to kind of give them this clarity is to do a, either meditation or uh, meditation on clarity, meditation on seeing the light, anything along those lines. You can do a guided one, you could do it by yourself and ask your guides to step in. Um, but ask the ask spirit, ask the universe or whoever, whatever deities you work with to echo it or mirror it onto your person so that they can feel the benefits of it as well. And instead of then pressurizing them into, I love you, be with me, I'm sending you loving energy, you're sending loving energy to yourself and you're using the mirror uh, techniques that we have to, be, to, be, uh, to, to let your person feel the benefits of it as well. So that would be a really good move. Um, and especially if you've had an argument um, the Hoponopono, I can never say it, Hoponopono uh, thing would be really good for you guys to do with your person as well. Um, it's a prayer, the Hoponopono prayer, YouTuber, that would be a really good thing for you to do with your person because it will clear any kind of negative stagnant energy, spirit is saying. So that's going to shift it, alright? Two reasons, yeah, so two, two very different reasons why there's this kind of ignoring thing going on. Now, if you are third party, we've got a separate card over here, your person has gone away to focus on their family at this moment in time. So whatever reasons they've ignored you over here, they've gone to focus on their family. Now, even if you aren't third party, it's still a kind of family tie is being brought in here. So with some of you guys, there is a need for honor and respecting their family's wishes, which is gonna like throw a bit of a kilt on, on you and them. Um, third parties obviously but family are being a big influence on this situation as well uh, again scaredy cats some of them are a little bit unsure about standing up to their family uh, some of it's cultural uh, some of it's honor 
um, and some of it is third party. So regardless of your individual saturations for debt number two, that has been brought into it as well. So that's another reason why they're kind of going away for the time being. Um, they're going to think it through. Uh, they are, yeah, think it through for the time being. They're kind of going to beat their own drum a little bit, Spirit are saying. Uh, coming to terms of where they want to be going. They are going to, so over here you've got the girl holding the world in the hand and then you have the world card. So this is talking about endings of cycles, beginnings of new ones and are coming together. So what will happen is at this moment in time, they're going to think it all through. They've got the whole world in their hands as the him. You've got the whole world in his hands. Um, your person doesn't know the power that they have. They don't know the power that they have of the situation and they don't know the power of their spiritual ability. And that's why this awakening process is happening as well because they need to start using their abilities for good and helping people rather than, you know, causing this conflict and tension between the two of you. Um, so you're kind of on the sideline looking a bit pissed off. They're holding the world in their hands. This will be you. This will be them holding the world in their hands. And over here, you've kind of got spirit just filling in the gap, um, trying to support them, um, saying, you know, come this way, beating the drum, come this way, come, come be awakened, come be guided and you've got the cross over the top of it for you know spiritual energy christ consciousness it is this awakening process and it is these dark nights of the soul once they've come to terms of that you've still got the two the two swords kind of crossing in the middle and they're like i'm not making a choice on it yet but then that choice will be made they're going to turn the cross into heart-based energy and that centered heart-centered movement is coming towards you there is going to be an offering made of love um they will still have a little bit of a mask on you know with the potions over here you've got drink me and you had to eat me didn't you and one she would get really small one she would get really big it's that kind of energy they don't want to come over as feeling a little bit of a, a wet blanket or a soft blanket or whatever you want to say they're going to be kind of putting on this mask of oh i've been really good how are you how's things going um but underneath it all the reason why they will be getting in touch is because their heart center energy is pulling you that way pulling them towards you the spiritual awakening is happening um they're gonna have these kind of dark nights of the soul grieve a lot of the energy which is still stagnant in their own energy and come out the other side making movement towards you with the knight of cups and the lovers so heart-centered energy towards you and the chance of the two of you being together period of transformation so you guys that your people are transforming their energy at the moment um multiple reasons why you guys aren't in communication family arguments and fears basically in short um spiritual awakening dark nights of the soul things starting to shift cycles coming to a close a new cycle beginning they're going to wear a mask but they will come back to you with heart-centered energy and there's the potential for the two of you to kind of come together so at the moment uh, yes you are being ignored and those are the reasons why um but with time this will shift in the right in the right direction if you do not pressurize them okay so whether it's on an energetic level like we spoke about whether it's on an earthly level and you keep texting them please just give them some space because if you hound them you, they are going to push you away and they're going to push you further away than you want to go and uh, that's a song i just got a song then and uh, i don't know the lyrics of that i don't actually know what song it is but it was something like you pushed me further than i ever thought i would go yeah it sounded like that it's definitely a song it feels like it's a male singing push me further than i thought i would go something like that one of you will find it because you guys are whizzes on on my claire audience and I, I can tell you the messages sometimes i don't know the songs um you push me further than i thought i, would go. I just got it then and it went it might be a girl actually <laughs> ah uh, no, 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 it's, uh, it's God of Wine uh, by Third Eye Blind. God of Wine. Now, that's technically about a kind of car crash and a collision, but it's more the words uh, within that. that They're saying you push me further than I thought I would go. So you need to be very, very careful of that. Don't be the God of Wine. <laughs> Don't get drunk and tax them. <laughs> keep it cool, keep it calm, keep it collective. Be in your power. They'll come to you when they're ready. Don't go chasing the egg does not chase the sperm whether gender specific sexually orientated whatever your individual circumstances are remember that let them come to you and that's step number two so lovely to read for you as always um find me on well you found me on youtube find me on on facebook find me on instagram um email is mr love gmail.com 
11 11 per email question, $11.11, is about £8.50 for my British fans or other people across the world, £8.50 in British, British pounds, um, 10 euros per single question, so if you have like five, it'll be like uh, five, 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 five dollars. Um, if you've got one, it's 11 11. So, single questions over email, 50 minute videos, and half hour video readings as well. And that's it. All right, guys, have a really good week. Keep strong, keep your faith, be good, be safe, and, uh, and look after yourselves. And if you are around the Lutterworth Derby area kind of on Saturday, come and say hi, TV crews, big football match. Uh, gonna go support them, um, and I'll be there with my dog. So come say hi. Lots of love guys. Take care. Bye.